the exercise. Come on. Some thoughts and feelings from the exercise. The exercise uh, for me in talking about both the positive and the negative, um, because I'm like a nerve, an open nerve, and so I am very, ugh. <laughs> I see all of the progress, and it's wonderful, but it's not enough. But it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough, and it's, it's um it's just not enough. And so it's great that we do the things we do, um, but it's just not enough. Okay. It's not enough. Like eating one potato chip, huh? So right. I want so some candy, too. <laughs> I was going to say, um, coming from Mississippi, where probably the deepest possible racial animosity you could possibly, that's still ongoing, it's horrific. The only way there's ever going to be trust between the white community and the African American community is real friendships that are built by interested parties on both sides who are working together um, and intentionally seek one another out, yes. intentionally build friendships, intentionally have their children together, intentionally mm -hmm. eat together, mm -hmm. and then all these other things are going to flow out of that. I, th I feel like. You're going to be more likely to attend a function if a friend's inviting you. Then there's a trusting friendship there. You're going to be more likely to um, listen to someone if there's a friendship and, and, and build trust. Um, I've experienced a bit of that in Mississippi, but it is bad, really mm. bad. And, and mm. even uh, even in those trusting relationships, mm -hmm. it's Any, anyone else from this table have okay. just some well, hearing from the people who live here that clearly is not the kind of coordination across communities, even in the planning of the commemoration this year that there needed to have been, um, the black community didn't know about things that were being planned, uh, and, and the clearly communication has to be improved. Um, and there's a great fear that the momentum that exists now will be lost and that there'll be regression. There'll be sort of a, a painted over history because it's resist, there still is clearly resistance to telling this drill, this real history of Tulsa. We know that it's been suppressed for years. The people got death threats when they were trying to do research in the 70s on, on the riot. And so there's still great resentment and distrust. They said that they need to go through a process like Richmond has gone through. Hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing here. Okay. It's a lot of work to so be done. So it was, yeah. was really unearthed oh, yeah. that was important to move forward. Um, some voices from this table over here. Somebody say something. <laughs> <laughs>
What did you learn from just having discussion or dialogue about this particular issue? 